Okay, what we have here today is the MacBook Air SuperDrive. This is an Apple product and it's designed for use with only, and I really do mean only, the MacBook Air, not my MacBook Pro or any other Apple device, but only the MacBook Air. Anyway, let's uh, get to the device. It's simply packaged, nice simple white box as always. Let's get rid of that. You've got a rather short lead with a tag on it, which doesn't protect anything but the plastic itself. So let's get rid of that. Let's unpeel the unit and slide out the device itself. It's very simple. It's uh, got a quite a nice slightly rubbery ring to the bottom. And you can probably just see if I get the light right, can I catch it? Yes, I can. A slight Apple logo, but this black ring is slightly rubberized, which will stop it sliding around the table. Not that it should. Is it slim and sleek? Well, it's thicker than a MacBook Air. I might, might as well shut it just to quickly show you. So if I show you the fattest part of a MacBook Air. It's trying to be deceptive by having this black line here, but it's actually thicker than the MacBook Air. So it's uh, nice enough, but it's uh, nothing special. Okay, let's get my computer back where it was meant to be. So, USB lead, let's pop it in and see what happens. Now, as you'd expect, not a lot. Does it just work? It should do. I'm not expecting it to have to do anything. I do keep my MacBook up to date, but I've not had to do any special updates for this. I'm gonna quickly pop a DVD in and let's see what happens. Okay, it's physically powered because it's just swallowed that. I can hear it gurgling. Let's just see what happens over here now. So this is the first time it's been plugged in. I can hear it spinning. It's up to speed now. I can see that appeared on my desktop an icon, which is representing the DVD name. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got to set the region I'm in. I'm in region two, so I've got to set drive region to region two. Region true tr two successfully changed. Now I know if I press OK, it's probably going to want to autoplay and bring up menus, which I'm not going to go into for now. I'm going to just talk a little bit more about the device. I read up on this a lot, and I've got a lot of friends on a little private forum we use where we discuss such things. A little bit disappointed that uh, I have to buy. Uh, a Apple device that can only work with the MacBook Air. That is uh, a little bit unpleasing. I would rather this device work with my MacBook Air and all my other Apple Mac devices. Why can't it also work with my PC? I'm not so bothered about that, to be honest. I expect that from Apple and uh, with firmware and other people talk about various hacks. I'm sure there'll be replies to this saying, you can get alternative drives. I've heard good rumors that there's a particular uh, there's two or three drives, let's say, I'm not even going to bother naming them, that work well with this unit. I've also heard that if you hack the firmware and some various other, various other power options and monitoring options that you can actually get this unit to work with both MacBook Pro and PC, but not out of the box. So if you're happy to spend and buy another Apple product, this is the MacBook Air. Um, I've uh, <laughs> seen this in use many a time, so although this is my new unit, uh, I, I can say that it's a, it's a fine unit, but there's nothing special about it. It's not a Blu-ray, it's CDs and DVDs only. Nothing special there. In the UK, this is £66. That's probably somewhere between 80 and $100 or 80 and 100 euros, depending on uh, the currency and the time of the year. But you can look on the Apple Maple Store for that. The Apple Store even, the Maple Store, I'm, perhaps I'm correct on that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Aluminium, it's sleek, it's slim, it's not as slim as the MacBook Air. I think this lead being this short is going to cause me problems because uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to always have this without being right angle crooked and you've also got to be careful of any lead uh, that goes and uh, I'm sure I'll have problems because it's totally sealed in the unit. There's no way of getting into these things as is Apple's way. So all in all, uh, fine as a product. Uh, disappointing uh, design solution uh, from Apple on this one and to be honest you can probably tell them the tone of my voice you don't get much choice so uh, it's fine glad they've got a unit it'd be a shame not to have the option to be able to pop in a disc but uh, the remote options obviously if you've got another Apple device or something else that you can share its drive on on your network at home uh, up to now, that's how I've loaded software, etc. onto this, that's required a CD. But there are going to be times when you don't want to just sit down with your MacBook Air, rip a few 
music tunes, whatever, onto your machine. Get some get some music going on your, and I'll show you on another video on your Sonos system. We'll talk about that later, and um, and uh, and or watch a movie if you're away in a hotel room because it's a very small unit to carry with you. And now I've got this little thing to consider taking around with me. It's about the same kind of size as a CD. This is a uh, a simple sleeve that. Uh, hold the CD or DVD. Let me just press eject. Of course you've got an eject button on the MacBook Air. So you can see that the unit isn't particularly bigger uh, in any way apart from its depth and uh, I would say that's about an 18 mil depth, one and a half centimeters, maybe just over. This black line underneath uh, does try to, does try its best to hide the depth of this unit. Okay, that's more than enough of me going on. Uh, like I say, it's utilitarian, it's not cheap, it's Apple, it works.